What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another useless review. This is going to be a what's in my bag slash short little review of this bad boy right here, which is the Mindshift Gear Backlight 26L Backpack. Now, there are tons of other really, really good reviews of this backpack online already. It's quite a popular bag, uh, but I wanted to do a what's in my bag uh, to kind of show you all the wonderful things you can fit in this bag. Um, I recently took a trip to Banff. And uh, even though it's more of a family trip, I want to take a lot of gear with me because it's Banff. You want to take really, really good images, right? Um, so I needed a backpack that was large enough to fit all the stuff I needed, yet still small enough to fit under the seat in the plane. Uh, and this backpack did that job absolutely beautifully. It's not the most, well, it's not the perfect backpack, but it's the closest thing that I found. Uh, so. Here we go with the what's in my bag. Oh, and short disclaimer, this is um, the setup I had to fit under the seat in front of me in the plane. So as you notice, there's no tripod um, anywhere on this bag, at least not a big tripod, because I actually put the tripod in a different bag, um, in a different carry-on. Um, so the front here, uh, one thing that's beautiful about this bag, has lots of pockets and lots of little things. Um, this is actually the, uh, the, the waist strap and I actually flipped it backwards here and tied it together here, which you can do with this. Um, and uh, what it allows it to do is have be a little bit more streamlined as far as like the amount of space it takes up. Um, the front here has these little loops um, and I just put a bungee cord here, a little carabiner and a small little lock and plus another little um, clip here, which I can just clip jackets or anything else I wanted on the front here when I went on the plane. Um, if you look in this small pocket here, I have a anchor. Uh, this is a 20,000 milliamp external battery. It's a fast charge one. It's very nice. Um, I have a micro USB cable right here, um, and it's useful for charging all sorts of things like cameras and batteries. Uh, this is a USB-C cable wrapped up here, uh, useful for charging phones. Um, I have this little universal cable dongle thing, which has all sorts of different cables. Um, it's a lightning cable, micro USB, USB-C, uh, mini HDMI, and so forth. Um, very practical, functional for using, for charging a lot of things. Um, I have a little charging brick here. It's an Aki Fast Charge 2.0 brick. Uh, let's see what else I have in this bad boy. I have a few wipes. Oh, that's a used wipe. That's kind of gross. Throwing that away. Uh, chapstick, Burt's Beeswax, and uh, a few alcohol swabs. So that's kind of what I put in the front pocket here. The front small pocket. Um, there's another actually pocket right here which is like another small pocket where you put like a few mini small things. Um, I put this little key change that has a flashlight and a bottle opener. Um, I put this little pouch in here, this little black cloth pouch or velvet pouch, fake velvet pouch. And inside this pouch, I have a extra quick release plate. This is the Peak Design quick release plate. Um, it's kind of nice. I have this little thing from Three Legged Thing, which is our, the little multi-tool. has a bottle opener, it's a carabiner, has a uh, Allen key and uh, a bottle opener and this little screwdriver, very handy. And I have a quarter. Um, actually, it's not even a quarter. I don't even know what kind of coin this is. This is from, uh, shoot, I don't even know where this is, but it's about the size of a quarter. And I use it for, uh, you know, like things that need that quarter size screw mount. Um, and then I also have a cloth, lens cloth, and that's all that I had in that pocket. Um, if you look at this bigger front compartment, which is kind of one of the main parts of the bag, I actually managed to fit a lot of stuff in here. So, up top here in the laptop pocket, I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro. There's another tablet pocket here, but I actually didn't take a tablet with me this time. But in this tablet pocket, I put extra cables. So here's an extra USB-C cable. Here's an extra USB-C to USB-C cable for MacBook chargers. Here is a lightning cable, uh, which I guess I didn't even really need to take on this trip, but I did. Uh, and then I have this small little brick, which uh, is not the official MacBook Pro charger. It's from Aki again, but it's powerful enough to charge up your MacBook and it charges your phone really fast. If your phone has USB-C, it can charge up really quickly. Uh, and then I have this little bag here. And in this bag, I keep, uh, because I, you know, I use a MacBook Pro, of course, I have to have this little dongle. 
that has the Lenovo dongle, which is a USB-C and dongle that you can kind of put in your uh, SD card, micro SD card, more USB ports. I have this little SanDisk portable 256 gig little flash drive thing, which I use to back up my photos with. Uh, and then even though I didn't take my iPad with me, I just kind of always leave it in here. This is a little dongle, the uh, SD card reader for your iPad. And so that's what went into the pocket where the tablet was supposed to go. And then on the bottom here, I had a few extra loose end things. This is kind of a, another, uh, I don't know what you call this thing. A, uh, a uh, I don't know, a thing where you put extra uh, ports. You have USB ports here for charging, uh, extra power ports here. Um, this is coming very handy in trips. And then I have this little cable bag here where I just have all the miscellaneous cables that I might need um, and chargers, extra bricks. Um, and just other little uh, knickknacks that I might need. Uh, this always goes with me on pretty much every trip. I guess I need to do inventory of what's actually in there. I don't even remember what's in there anymore. But there's a lot of cables and every cable I would ever need. Uh, and then of course I do have a pen here. This pen actually works as a stylus as well. Um, again, even though I didn't take my iPad with me this time. And of course I did the little uh, tape trick where I put tape around here because you can always use tape. The tape is always very practical to carry with you. Um, and yeah, that's all that I fit into this pocket right here. And, and there's actually still room to spare in this pocket. I didn't want to, I wanted to fill my bag up, but I didn't want to put too much stuff in there because uh, weight is also important. So obviously if the bag is too heavy, it's kind of hard to carry. Um, so there was actually more room to put stuff in there if I needed, if I wanted to put extra snacks, whatever, uh, which I didn't end up doing, but I could have. Uh, if you go here to this part of the bag, this is uh, one of the front straps. I have this Peak Design clip, the uh, the capture clip. Um, it wasn't, when I use the bag, or when I use the clip, and I'm actually out, uh, I don't put it in this orientation, but I put it in this orientation just because it's uh, more streamlined and easier to fit under the seat. Um, and if we look at this main compartment here, which is the camera compartment, where I have all the good stuff, this is where all the good stuff goes. So, if we look inside this bad boy, I'm gonna start here with the straps. This is the Peak Design Slide Strap. Um, and then I have a secondary strap here, which is another Peak Design Strap. It's not the slide strap, it's the smaller one. Um, the reason I take two straps is because I actually took two camera bodies with me. Uh, my main camera body here, which is the 5D Mark IV with the three-legged thing L bracket on there. Um, here, my favorite lens, which is going to be the Canon 70 to 200 f 2.8 L Mark II, uh, and it does have the tripod collar plus another quick release plate on there. Um, and in the same pocket, I put this little. A rain cover that comes with the bag. I didn't actually end up having to use it because it didn't rain at all when I was on my trip, but it's there for uh, just in case it rains. It also kind of provides a little extra cushioning inside the bag itself. Um, let's see, this pocket here, here's a lens, my first lens. This is the Canon 50 mil f 1.8 and it's attached to a Viltrox speed booster. And this Viltrox speed booster is the one for EF to EFM. Uh, let's see, in this compartment here, I have the Canon 10 to 18 mil EFS lens, and I have it attached to the Canon uh, EF to EFM adapter. And those adapters go on this camera, which is the Canon M50. I have this, uh, this L bracket on there that I found on eBay. It uh, doesn't quite fit perfectly, but it's the best L bracket I found. On the camera itself, I have the Canon EF m 22 mil f2 um, and then i also have this little silicone case on there which is kind of handy get that in this pocket here uh, and here are the other full frame lenses that i took um, i did mark it with tape just so i know which lens is which this is the canon 24 to 105 f4 l mark ii and then finally here for my last lens that i took this is the canon 16 to 35 f 2.8 l mark ii um, I've, I don't know, after this trip, I think I want to upgrade this lens simply because this lens hood here is absolutely ridiculous and takes up way too much space. Uh, but as far as like the performance of the lens is great. It goes in there. Uh, if you look on this side compartment here, I have a blower. Um, I have an extra ball head for the tripod, which I'm actually glad I took. This was actually the ball head that was on my tripod uh, that I used, which is a three-legged thing Brian um, 
And uh, I wanted to use this one because it's, it's thicker. This is from Gikoto. Uh, but I'm glad I took an extra one because this one actually broke on me. So I had to actually put the, uh, the regular three-legged thing, tripod head, or ball head back on the actual tripod. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know why I decided to take a spare, but I'm really glad I did. Uh, but this is actually the, spare, the one I was using that broke on me. Um, if we look in this pocket here, this little nice baby blue bag. Um, I have all the triggers for the camera. So here I have this little Viltrox, $8 Viltrox uh, remote trigger for the 5D Mark IV. It's really cheap, works great. I uh, probably wouldn't drop it. Probably break on you right away. But as long as you don't drop it, it works great. Um, I have this wireless trigger for the 5D Mark IV. Um, I, to be honest with you, I don't even remember what brand it is. Um, I just I think I got it on a deal, one of those B&H daily deals. Um, it's had it for a few years, it actually works fantastically. And this one, this remote is the wireless remote, the BRE1, the official Canon one. And I use this one for the uh, EOS M50 and it works actually fantastically. Uh, this is a super, super awesome, um, awesome device. It's, it's not the cheapest thing, it's, I think it's about 30 bucks, but it's totally worth it. So these are all the wireless, or just all the triggers, the external triggers, kept in this pocket right here. And then this pocket here, I have the, uh, this is the filter pocket. So these are my filters. Here's my 82 mil uh, variable neutral density, 72 mil, or 77 mil, excuse me, neutral density, variable neutral density, both Tiffin. Um, I have the step up and step down ring. And then I have, I only took one polarizing filter with me, which is a uh, BMW 77 mil uh, polarizing filter. Those are my filters. And then it's finally in this small bag, or small pocket here, so the bag, small pocket, I just have this headlamp, uh, which obviously when you're out and you're landscape, you're a landscape photographer, it's very handy. So um, the final pocket here, which is gonna be this pocket here, uh, or these two pockets that are on uh, this part of the bag, is where I kept all my battery stuff. So in this, the bigger version or the bigger pocket down here, I put the battery chargers and I labeled them. So this is the dual battery charger. Um, for the LPE6, so the 5D Mark IV batteries, and this is the dual charger for the LPE12, the M50 batteries. And then in the same pocket here, I just put a bunch of these uh, Zeiss lens wipes, which are very handy to have. Um, and then finally, the final pocket here, I just have my spare battery. So I have uh, two LPE6 M batteries, two additional LPE6 batteries. There's one already in the 5D Mark IV, but these are the batteries for the 5D Mark IV. Uh, and then I have these three LPE12, I think they are. Um, two of them are actual Canon ones. Uh, there's another official Canon one in the M50, and this is just an off-brand one, but it, it works pretty well. And so these are the, the batteries that I took with me, these spare batteries. Um, I didn't end up using all of them every day because the battery life on actually both cameras is not bad. Um, the 5D Mark IV has great battery life. Uh, the M50 has not so great battery life, but I didn't actually use it that much. I didn't use it as my main uh, camera, so uh, it was fine. It was kind of a secondary slash B cam slash just video camera. So uh, yeah, and that's it. So that's what's in my bag in the Mindshift Gear Backlight 26 panel. As you can see, that's a whole bunch of gear that I was able to fit into this bag pretty comfortably. Um, and this bag actually fits under the seat in a plane very comfortably as well. Um, it was a little bit on the heavy side, but it's really an exceptional bag. It's, it's incredibly popular with a lot of photographers for good reason. It's really, in my opinion, the best bag uh, you can buy um, if you're a landscape photographer. There, there's a smaller version and a bigger version. I think the 36L is the bigger version of this. The 18L is a smaller version. Uh, the 18L, even though it's a little bit more compact and streamlined, it was just a little bit too small for what I needed. Uh, the 36L looked great, but that actually looked a little bit too big for what I needed. Um, I didn't know by reading the dimensions if it would actually fit under the seat in front of me. And so I went with the middle one and I'm really glad I did because uh, it's, it, was a, it was a great backpack for the trip, fit everything, it fit my needs perfectly. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Thanks.